Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Uncle Monkey. I am your Uncle Monkey, and today's story is The Gingerbread Man. Once upon a time, there lived a little old lady and a little old man. They lived in a tiny house at the top of a high hill. The little old man liked to work in his garden. He grew all kinds of good things to eat. The little old lady liked to work in her kitchen. She baked pies and cakes and cookies. One morning, the little old lady decided to bake something, something special. Whatever shall it be, she said softly to herself. She thought and thought. Then she smiled. I know, she said. I'll make a gingerbread man. And that's exactly what she did. She gave him a green striped candy buttons and a smiling cherry mouth and a current nose and, a t and tiny raisin eyes. Last of all, she gave him a striped candy hat. And then she popped him in the oven to bake. While he baked, she sat in her chair and rocked and rocked and rocked. Soon the little old lady opened the oven door to see if the gingerbread man was baked. And he was, and he winked at her. Then he hopped out of the oven and ran across the kitchen and out the open door. Stop! cried the little old lady, running after him as fast as she could. Stop! Stop, I say! cried the little old man as the gingerbread man ran through the garden. But the runaway gingerbread man just laughed. <laughs> run, run as fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! And then he ran through the garden gate and off down the hill. The little old lady and the little old man ran right after him. The gingerbread man ran past a boy and his sister. They were working in their father's fine watermelon patch. Stop! shouted the little boy when he saw the gingerbread man. Oh, please stop! cried the little girl. Together they ran after him, but the gingerbread man only laughed at them. Run, run as fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! I'm running away from a little old lady and a little old man, and I can certainly run away from you. I can, I can, I can. And he could because the little old lady and the little old man and the boy and the girl just could not catch him. Next, the gingerbread man passed a pretty gray kitten sitting up on a high fence. Meow, stop right meow. Meow, the small gray kitten. The gingerbread man laughed and laughed. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I've outrun a little old lady and a little old man, a boy and a girl, too. I certainly can outrun you. On ran the gingerbread man. On ran the little old lady and the little old man and the boy and the girl and the pretty gray kitten. Soon the gingerbread man passed a brown and white cow in a pleasant sunny meadow. Stop! Moo! Mooed the cow. The gingerbread man laughed at the cow. Run, run as fast as you can. You will not catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I'm running away from a little old lady and a little old man and a boy and a girl and a kitten too. Why should I stop for you? Of course, he did not stop. He ran on and on and on. <laughs> And so did the little old lady, the little old man, and the little boy, the little girl, the gray kitten, and the brown and white cow. But they were all getting very, very tired. Suddenly, though, the gingerbread man had to stop. He had come to a river, and there was no way for him to cross it. Just then, a red fox peeked out from behind a blackberry bush. Hop onto my back, gingerbread man, he said, smiling and showing two rows of sharp, shiny teeth. I will carry you across the river. The gingerbread man saw those teeth, so he did not hop onto the fox's back. Instead, he climbed onto the very tip of the fox's bushy tail, and they started to cross the river. The river rose higher and higher. It nearly covered the fox's bushy tail. Hop onto my back, gingerbread man, called the fox, or you will surely get wet. The gingerbread man hopped onto the fox's back. The water rose higher until soon it nearly covered the fox's back. Do hop up on my head, gingerbread man, called the fox. You really must not get all wet. The gingerbread man hopped onto the fox's head. The water rose higher and higher. Even the fox's ears began to get wet. 
hop onto my nose, gingerbread man, called the sly fox, because I would feel ever so bad if you got wet. The gingerbread man hopped, but he never landed on the fox's nose, because suddenly, snip, swallow, the smart fox ate half of the gingerbread man. Snap, swallow, he ate the other half, too. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. But then, nobody felt bad about that. After all, everybody knew that gingerbread men are baked to be eaten. The end.